Okay, folks, this is going to be a little bit different than a normal fun sheet because it's not a fun sheet. Um, it was supposed to be notes we did in class with you, but since we are out, we recorded it for you. Um, so just look at your note page and fill it in as I go along with the slides. It is still sexual versus asexual reproduction, which is standard 1.7. Evaluate and communicate evidence that compares and contrasts the advantages and disadvantages of sexual and asexual reproduction. So first we're going to just talk about um, different examples of what those are, and then we'll talk about why there's advantages and disadvantages. All right, so in asexual reproduction, this should be at the very top of your page. Um, asexual reproduction occurs by a single parent, and that's called a parent cell, and produces offspring that are genetically identical, and those two um, genetically identical cells are called daughter cells. Um, some examples of asexual reproduction are regeneration, binary fission, budding and fragmentation and we're going to talk about those individually. First we're going to talk about regeneration. Regeneration um, is when an organism loses a body part then the organism regrows that part. So like that starfish there um, it probably lost an arm and then it's regrowing that arm. Um, on the other picture, that's a planera, and the planera is actually going, we're going to talk about how it's also fragmentation, and there's also a third type called segmentation, and they're all very similar. Um, so say you see right here, oh no, actually right here, the center line is one planera, and it got cut into three for some reason. And it's showing you what happens. The head's going to grow back and grow a body. The body is going to grow back and grow a head and a tail. And the tail is going to grow back and grow a whole body. So when part of it is regrown, it's regeneration. When um, like the head grows the whole body, that's regeneration. But then we're going to talk about fragmentation. And fragmentation occurs when part of the organism breaks off and the new organism is formed. So that planera does both. And here in this picture of this starfish, it's showing you that regeneration and fragmentation are actually happening because on this picture, it's showing you the arm broke off and then down here, it regrew its arm. That's regeneration. Over here, this arm broke off and then a whole organism grew back. And so that's fragmentation. Um, some more examples we have are budding, um, and that's when part of the parent pinches off and forms a new offspring. So like on this organism right here, this is the part that's going to pinch off and it's going to drop down and plant itself right next to the parent and it's going to grow and then end up looking just like the parent cell. In binary fission, it's how bacteria, um, which you know are prokaryotes, reproduce by cell division. They split in two. Um, and this is going to be different than mitosis because they don't have a nucleus, so they're just splitting their genetic information in half. Um, Alright, next we have um, spores. And spores... Um, basically reproduce the cell that can go through mitosis and we're going to talk about mitosis um, momentarily but the organisms that go through that for example with spores are ferns, mosses, and mushrooms and you can see those little dots on the mushroom are actually the spores. Runners um, have long slender stems that grow along the surface of the soil and you can see where it's pointing right here is a runner 
Um, strawberry plants are an example of that, and you should make a note of that on your paper. Right, add it in. Example, strawberry plants. Um, next is cloning. Cloning is creating an exact replica of an organism by genetically duplicating that organism. Cloning occurs in a laboratory setting only. Um, this sheep, this picture is Dolly the sheep. Oh gosh, I feel like it was like in the 90s, 1996 maybe. I'd have to look it up, I can't remember the date. That they mastered this and cloned the sheep Dolly. Um... Cloning is not um, for whole organisms is not been perfected. There's lots of problems, but you can also clone a cell, and there's less issues with that. Um, mitosis. Um, in humans. We go through asexual reproduction all the time. Um, all of our cells in our body reproduce this way, except our sex cells. So your skin cells go through mitosis, your... Every cell in your body. Liver cells, muscle cells, all your cells, all the cells in your body go through mitosis, except um, egg cells in females and sperm cells in males. Um, the parent cell, um, I skipped something, hold on. So mitosis occurs when the parent cell divides to make two identical daughter cells. Um... I like to put in the reminder that mitosis happens in our toes because it just kind of goes together. Mitosis, toes, I don't know. It's a stretch. But it happens everywhere in our bodies except our sex cells. So every cell in your body goes through mitosis except your sex cells. Which is going to lead us to um, sexual reproduction. And sexual reproduction... Um, takes two. In animals, there's a female with eggs and male with sperm. In plants, plants with flowers have two contributors as well. Um, the female reproductive area is called the pistil, and for the male part, it's called the stamen. Um, in animals, I think your paper says in animals. Yes. In animals, egg and sperm unite to produce offspring. In plants, pollination occurs. Pollen from the male unites with the ovule from the female. And so pollen is basically the male sperm and the ovule is the egg in a flowering plant. Um, root word there, O V O is like oval, is the shape of an egg, and it's Latin for egg. Alright, now we're going to compare mitosis and meiosis. Um, and so we go back and forth between the two. So mitosis is asexual reproduction. Meiosis is sexual reproduction. Mitosis happens in all of our cells, except in the production of sex cells. Meiosis only happens in sex cells. Um, in mitosis, there are 46 chromosomes. It starts with 46 chromosomes, and it ends with 46 chromosomes. Um, and it produces two genetically identical daughter cells. In meiosis, the chromosome number is half. From 46 to 23 chromosomes. In mitosis, the cell divides once and creates two new daughter cells. And in meiosis, it goes through two divisions, making four new daughter cells. 
Um, so those are just the things to compare and contrast mitosis and meiosis. Um, and on your fun sheet, there was the whole list of advantages and disadvantages about mitosis and meiosis and what they are. So we'll go over those um, again. On this part of your paper, you're going to decide if the description is asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction. I'll do the first one with you, but you have to do the rest. Only one organism is involved, so that's um, asexual reproduction. I just abbreviated AS. You may abbreviate also. Um, and then you're going to do plant pollination. Frog eggs become fertilized outside of the body in outside of the frog's body in water. Um, starfish arm breaks off, and from the broken off arm creates a new starfish. Bacteria cell undergoes binary fission and mitosis. You tell me. If they're asexual or sexual. Yes, you can abbreviate. A, S, and S. And then on the next part is going to be comparing and contrasting asexual and sexual reproduction. So anything you've um, got from the notes is acceptable here. Obviously, the left side is anything that pertains to asexual. The right side is anything that pertains to sexual reproduction. And in the middle is both. So... I'll do the first ones for you. Asexual is one parent. So let me guess. Asexual is two parents. And both is talking about reproduction. There will be way more um, asexual than sexual stuff and way more of both of them than... No. And way more of asexual and sexual stuff than the both column. There will be less in the both column than the two outside columns. All right. Um, hope that helps.